able to repent. Our brothers gotta realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. Take a soul, stand it fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We tryna elevate. Enoch or Elijah, or the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not trapping even fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Such a bloody scene, why she make it clean? For the husband come to clean. These women are tired of eating. So I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purging that spiritual house of all heaven. They think the tire, they arms the tire. Brothers, where you at? drug dealers. We are against gang bankers. That's right. Let me show you what the Most High God said against drug dealers. That's in the Bible. He said, let's get it. Watch this. Let's see if God agreed with the drug dealers. Watch this. Because that's why he mad. He can't sell a bag while we right here. Watch this. Watch this. We finna show you what God said about the drug dealers. That's right. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 18. Bring it out. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Read it again. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. A witch. What does a witch do? A witch deal with portions and chemicals and things in that symbol. That's on Walgreens, that little pot with the little stick in it. That's what the witches use, that pot to stir up all this, the cocaine and crack and all that. Don't suffer a witch to live. Read it again. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Next time you walk by Walgreens, look at that symbol on there. That's the pot that the witches use to break up their drugs and stuff, and they push it. All right, read it again. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You understand that? The Most High God was always against drug dealers. Scam artists. And the game bankers as well. He gets the game base as well, too. We're going to prove that to you I in the Bible. During the times of Moses, they put their hands on the drugs. They, they put them to death. But we can't do that today. Because Christ came and died for our sins. Now he has mercy. Liars. He do have a chance to repent. About a war, he can repent to 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 war if he choose to. Right here on right? But go to war about your according God. to the Bible, but they ain't going if to he continue in that state, they ain't going to war the Lord going to deal with him. Better not be Let's get back. I'm gonna burn the Bible in front of you. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. Wisdom crieth without. We ain't in the church behind four walls. We outside. We crying without. Read. Verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So we crying aloud out here in the streets where we can taste all you so called gangbangers, drug dealers, who you really are. We know how to teach the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. God's chosen people. Read. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Like he just did. If he say, hey, bro, come check it out. Come with us so we can lay waste for blood. Meaning, I, I found where old boy at. Let's go get him. Read. Let us lay privily for the innocent without cause. Let us plot on the innocent without no reason. What's the reason you want to put him in there? I ain't got no reason. Let's go. But I got a plot, though. That's what gangbangers do. Read. Let us swallow them up alive. As the grave. Read that again. Let us swallow them up alive. What they say today? Man, I got this, this profile, this extendo. I'm finna chew them up. Let us swallow them up. That's what they do. Read. Let us swallow them alive as the grave. Take their life. Innocent life. Read. Hey. Most of these game makers out here shooting at each other. Bring they missing out. each other, but they shooting innocent bystanders. Bring it out. They shooting everybody but who they, they, they trying to shoot. Bring Read. And hold <laughs> as those that go down into the pit. Uh -huh. We shall find our precious substance. See that? Then once you kill them, they want to go look for their substance. Snatch their chain, go in their pocket, go in their house, read. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Meaning they're going to take what they got from the person they shot down or just rob and put it in their house. That's what they do. Read. <laughs> Cast in thy lot among us. Meaning let's take a bat. Let's come with us, roll with us. We're going to split what we uh, took from them. Read. Let us all have one purse. Me? My son, walk not thou in the way with them. So the Most High God said, don't follow after them. 
Don't follow after the gang banger. Don't follow after the drug dealer. Don't follow after these killers. He said, my son, what? My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Don't walk in the way with them. All right? What is the what is what of the commandment say? Thou shall not. Thou shall not kill. What the God say? My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. Turn the other way. Don't follow them. Refrain thy foot. Get off that path that they on and keep it moving. Uh, do you understand that, Brother Mark? What's your name, brother? What's your name? Uh, Rico. Miko? Rico. 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 We out here for you, Rico. Can you see yourself on that side right here? Hey, God bless y'all. Hold on. Before you leave, I want to show you why we are in the state we're in. I'm going to show you real quick. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Because we read in Deuteronomy 28, we was going to go into slavery by way of cargo slave ships, right? That was prophesied. But why? Why do we do that? Are we still in slavery today? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're 100% right. Mentally. But why? Because we, we allow ourselves to be in that position. And, and exactly. You, say that? you see that? We, we ain't putting our best. Watch this. Us. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Here's one of the ways that we continue in, a, in slavery and oppression because we don't want to do this. Bring it out. They shall not make boldness upon their head. As a so-called black Hispanic Native Indian or Israelite, you are not supposed to deliberately, purposely, willfully shave your head bald like Floyd Mayweather, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley. You understand? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That's right. See, you shaved off the corner of your beard. See this brother beard? You supposed to hide that. So do you. But you shaved yours off. Watch this. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Let's go into tattoos. That goes to tattoos. We're going to show you what they got to do. We're going to explain that. I'm going to show you that. Watch this. Hold what you got, right? Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because what we just read, we just read a law. We're going to read it. Give us a second. Watch this. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, meaning future prophecy. Moses wrote this a long time ago. He prophesied that someone's going to come to pass, right? Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because what we just read it was the writings of Moses, right? He gave us a law back in Leviticus. He said if we do not hearken, meaning listen, to the voice of the Lord our God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe it and to do all the commandments. And his statutes. Uh-huh. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now go back to where you was at. So you see that? Moses said, if you didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, which is written in this Bible, we're even going to read again for y'all. Listen good. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. That was a law. Right. That is a law, even to this day. That is a law that Most High God gave us out. to keep. Right? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So you're not supposed to shave your head bald. Neither are you supposed to shave off the corner of your beard. That's right. Why? What does a beard resemble in a man? Who got the Bible dictionary? Brother Miko? Rico. 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 Give me one second. Hold your thought. Don't forget it. I just want to deal with the beard real quick. Now. Why should a man have a beard? Why did God say a man should shave off his beard? We finna show you that. Show him what book you read. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Right. Definition, beard. A badge of manly dignity. As a sign of mourning, it was the custom to pluck it out or cut it off. So a beard is a badge, a symbol of manly, manly dignity. When you shave off your beard, you therefore rejecting your manhood. You ain't necessarily got to, somebody got to go up in you. If you shave your beard off, you rejecting your manhood right there. Read it again. So sort of like. A beard, a badge of manly dignity. It's a badge. You must wear your beard like a, like a police wear a badge with dignity. Wear that badge with a, it's a manly, manly dignity. Wear it. Don't be ashamed of that thing, read. The Israelites. The who? The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native Indians, the Israelites, read, were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. That's right. You see that? We weren't supposed to do that. Read. Probably because it was regarded a heathenish sign. Oh, do you see that? 
When you shave off your beard, you're, you're now trying to be like the heathen, meaning the other nations. That's you're trying right. to be like the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese man. Af Africans, they keep their face clean shaved. So when you do that, you try you trying to be like the white man or the black or the African man. That's what you do when you say that. Now you will see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.